Hey everybody, this is Everyday Survival Gear, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Nightcore Digi D4 um, battery charger. Um, this is a recent purchase of mine. Um, my old battery charger was on its way out, and it only charged lithium ions. And I'm um, moving all of my uh, batteries to uh, NIMS, uh, Nikkei Nickel Metal Hydrate hydrate batteries um, and uh, so I had to upgrade my charger and I decided to buy a Digi D4 because of the um, LCD screen that it comes with um, it came in this box a uh, typical standard Nightcore box which has all the information on it and it also came with the Nightcore warranty card and the Digi4 Digicharger D4 uh, user manual, um, which you will have to read before you use. And obviously the device itself, which I am um, currently charging um, these uh, Amazon Basics um, rechargeable batteries. They are um, NIMS 1.2 volts, 2400 milliamp hour batteries, and as you can see. Uh, it tells you on the display how many volts it's at and how many hours and minutes it's been charging for. So right now they are all at 7 hours and 12 minutes and 1.47 volts. Um, they've been charging at 375 amp hours. Sorry, 375 milliamp hours. Um, that's where the charging at when all four ports are used. When the four ports aren't used, um, they charge at 750. So if you're only using two, two um, batteries to charge, they'll charge faster than charging the whole four. Um, now I'll just run through some features. I'll just leave that running. Obviously it came with the um, device itself and uh, the cord. Mine's a US cord that came with it. Even though I'm in Australia, I just had to use an adapter. Alright, a few features. Capable of charging four batteries simultaneously. Uh, some chargers can't do that. And some chargers are only two ports too. Each of four battery slots and, um, monitor and charge independently. Uh, as you can see here, you can run through um, the options. There's buttons on the side here. Um, so you can change the slots manually. That's slot three. That's slot four and slot 1 is finished uh, you can see there slot 1 it says charge finished and it says charge time and how many volts it's at and that's when it's finished um, these batteries are brand new just out of the packet too um, and it's the reason why I brought this is because it's compatible with a lot of batteries these NIMS, the Nikkei CADS um, the lithium ions is mainly what it is um, compatible with Optimize charging design for IMR batteries. Integrated LCD panel. Um, that's the main reason why I brought this is because it's got all of these options here. Um, everything shows up on the screen. And it's got the two buttons on the side. And um, also intelligence um, circuits inside this automatically detect uh, what batteries you have put in there so there's no need to um, change it but um, it is recommended when I was reading the manual uh, if you're charging um, um, batteries that don't have a high milliamp hour um, capacity on that 800 or 750 somewhere around about there uh, that you put it on low so even though it will automatically go on like this uh, you just push the slot button and we'll change it to a slot that's still charging this one and down there you can see that that's already there then you hold the button on the side uh, which is the mode button and then it'll go to low and that's a better way to charge batteries that are under 750 milliamp hours just for safety so it doesn't force too much power into the batteries because generally speaking if um, your batteries are 2400 milliamp hours you should be charging it at a rate of about 10 percent of its max so 240 milliamp hours over 10 hours to reach the full charge 
um, compatible with life PO4 batteries. Um, I think yeah, they're just another type of lithium batter battery. I don't have any of those, so I won't need to be charging them. But yeah, if you do charge them, um, you got to go and put it on a manual setting through the mode. You've got to hold a button, so it will detect that it's a lithium, and then you got to go and still change another mode. Uh, yeah, also, another good feature. Automatically stops charging uh, once the battery is full, so it doesn't trickle charge. Um, some batteries you can trickle charge, and some you can't. Um, I would prefer just my batteries just to reach the end, and then stop. I think, um, apparently... I've been reading on forums, it still does trickle charge, but only at a very low amount, so nothing that's too extreme. Um, and then that's only just to keep the current up, that isn't going to add any more voltage to the end voltage of the battery. So that trickle charge is just to keep the battery top topped up. Uh, features overtime prevention to protect batteries. Um, incorporates temperature control function. Um, the unit itself, right now, uh, as you can see, it's been off for seven hours charging. It's not hot. The bottom part underneath is a little bit hot, but nothing too extreme. I can hold that perfectly fine. It's nowhere near too hot. The batteries themselves, um, they are a little bit warm, but not that bad. Um, I'll update this video too when I charge a lithium ion to show you how it charges lithium ions made from durable ABS um, materials uh, flame resistant so if it ever does catch on fire it at least it shouldn't burn and burn your house, house down designed for optimal heat distribution I don't know how they've done that but they must just um, the heat it feels like there's a heat sink there and the heat sink must just run and um, dissipate the heat even evenly Certified by AHO H, C, E, F, C, C, and C, E, C. Um, I think AHO H is a worldwide one. F, C, C, I know is in America. Um, doesn't have the Australian one here, but it's still sweet. Worldwide insurance covered by Ping and Insurance Group. Uh, company of China. So it comes with a worldwide warranty. Um, five years, which is in this card. Apparently you just fill out, fill it out and then send it back and you will have your warranty uh, I brought it from a Chinese retailer so I don't know how my warranty will go but I'll wait and see uh, also I will add in what batteries it is compatible with compatible with IMR lithium ion life PO4 um, 26 650 22650 18650s which is one I will be charging soon um, 18490s, 18350s, 17670s, 17500s, 14500s, uh, 10440s, 16340 and RCR123s. I've got some um, CR123s here but they're not the rechargeable ones. Uh, and NIMS and Nikai's, CADs, um, A's, double, uh, Triple, double A's, triple A's, and four A's and C's. Um, I'll show you how it works. I'll open up my drawer. Um, I've got an ultra fire battery here. I don't, it's supposed to be rechargeable. Obviously, because it's a um, 18650. But we'll put it in and just see how it goes. And I'll show you how it automatically identifies the ports. Um, right now, that's just there. Throw this in still a bit tight okay see now port 1 has gone back to port 1 has gone back to 0 and then it's slowly charging uh, port 1 is 3.7 volts 375 um, charging 3.7 volts so that battery is still full and it can automatically tell that it's a lithium ion um, I really like this charger because it makes charging batteries a lot simpler and a lot easy, easier, um, especially for people like me that don't always charge batteries. Um, it comes in handy and it doesn't get too hot and I feel it is a reputable company so I feel it is safe to leave on overnight, especially charging these um, 
these are pretty safe. I don't know how I feel about the lithium ions because I heard a lot of stories, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is um, being my review of the Nightcore D4 Intelligent Charger. Thank you for watching.